Dayton B652. The speaker that started it all, at least for me. God, I love cheap and good. And the original ones of these were. And they sort of got fuzzy in the middle. Somewhere around Christmas time 2013. Actually, no, Christmas time 2012 to the New Year's of 2013. And then July of 2013 fixed. Well, certainly improved greatly. And now the newest revisions are pretty good. Fuck these. Dayton B652 Air. And they're called the Airs because instead of having a tweeter, a standard tweeter, a dome piezo tweeter, it has an air motion uh, technology, AMT, which is basically like if you were to be really cheap about saying it's a ribbon. Right there. And from the research people have done, this tweeter actually costs more on its own than this whole speaker. And it's worthwhile to do that. Now, the actual physical build, if you're looking at the original B652 or the new one, you can see the woofer is moved up, and that's good. You want the woofer and tweeter as close as they can get. Possibly not inside each other. There are those uh, coaxials that have the tweeter inside, but that can cause all sorts of weird occurrences. So you want them just real close. And this is about an inch closer, center to center. The rest of the build is identical. Uh, identical. They both cause cancer in California. Cancer in California, and then the other one had a little sticker. Of course, they use lead solder. What do you want from me? Uh, the same covers. Have the covers. Slightly different shape on the back of one. You can see there's the uh, the height difference of the drivers. They're roughly the same efficiency. I haven't, haven't, there isn't like a massive volume difference. I don't know if they changed the manufacture of the woofer at all. It doesn't seem different as far as feel and look and the way the back looks. I think I had taken it all apart. But uh, let me tell you something about these, these new airs. There is no longer a reason to buy this speaker. You'd have to be so cheap just insurmountably cheap that you know $35 is all you could spend on a speaker because these are only like $55 $60 so okay double the price but double the price of a dollar is two dollars and double the price of a $30 speaker is a set of $60 speakers and you are not ever going to find a better $60 speaker even if you go to Bangkok down an alleyway where Mr. Chen sent you He's not going to have anything better than this. This is it. This is the one. I may give this pair away at the GXL coming up. That would be cheap of me. Oh, God. All right. What did I do here? This is old Dayton. This is new Dayton. I've had these, by the way, since their inception. This is the first day they were out. And I've been running them on my television in my bedroom. Just running them. I want to make sure they get their legs stretched. And I have a pair of Mica MB42Xs there normally. So the Micas went on the floor and these went in their place. It's a pain in the butt to do this up there. And every everything about them was a touch more ex more acceptable for quote-unquote theater listening. I'm talking about music now. I'm talking about purely for living room, movie, television, explosion. These did a better job than the Mic X's because they actually have bass extension. And it's weird because they're sealed, but it's just such a so much bigger a driver. Is there a Mica here that wants to uh, not cause a disaster? That's fine. Yeah, here, here's a Mica X magnetic cover. So, they're actually about the same depth, they're within a quarter inch of each other. But there's just, that is a much bigger speaker. Now this little four, it tries real hard and it gets low end out. It does get low end out. With that little baby port, oh! But, 
<laughs> this is not. Even if this is a leaky old bus engine, it's still a bus engine compared to a Honda engine. The bus engine is going to just torque the shit out of the air and you're going to hear it. You're going to feel it. It doesn't, like, it's a Dayton. It doesn't have any features. And to be completely transparent, I've had to wrap this one on the top a couple times to get that tweeter to work. But uh, it's working now, so we're not going to go into that too much. They're still Dayton's. They still got that Dayton charm. Kind of like old Alfa Romeo's. Oh, you got Dayton's, huh? Hammer. All right, it's working fine now. So I'm going to... Uh, I don't have much to say about other th other than stop buying these. Unless you're absolutely dirt cheap, poor, and, you know... You've managed to scrounge up change from the living room couch cushions, and this is you've got $35 or $38, whatever it takes to buy these now. And, you know, that's it. Spend. Spend the extra 20 bucks, roughly $20, and get it with these. Because the biggest problem with these Dayton's has always been this. Because it's a nice tweeter when they can control it. But Dayton have had a hard time controlling it, considering they don't have a crossover. So they've had to go and resort to, you know, pretty much pure luck to get that to uh, to match up. Of course, this is full range, and this has only got a cap on it to, to sort of settle down the frequencies it's accepting and the volume. Where this actually has two pieces of equipment on it. Oh my god, a cap and a resistor. And so it actually, actually does blend a little better. A lot of work still has to get done by the woofer, more so than it probably should have. And who knows, maybe in the future Zaff will put out another, because he had a crossover recommendation if you wanted to build $40 crossovers for your $40 speakers, he had that. So maybe your $50, $60 speakers will have another $40 crossover you could add. They also look, they actually just look better. Look how, just, uh, it's like a 90s speaker compared to that. That thing is from the future, straight out of like, I don't know, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Why do I say Deep Space Nine? Because nobody watched that show. Not a single person. How about Andromeda? Maybe it's out of Andromeda. It's not out of Farscape. That's Those are out of Farscape. And we'll get to those. And i got to do it quick because they might run out. And though, oh, All right, back to these. I'm losing focus. Got to stay focused. I'm not going to do the sound demo on this video. Obviously, because I want everyone to see this video on mobile. And then if you want to find this, see the sound demo, where I will actually put the standard B652s up. And we will do a switch back and forth. It will A-B them. i got to get my rig out of box somewhere. And uh, we'll actually hear the difference. Hopefully, the tweeter won't die out on me again. And uh, we'll get this done. But, yeah. Bottom line in, the, in this review. No. Yes. Yes. No. There's no reason to buy this anymore. Just buy that one. Alright? It's like the MB42 and the MB42X. There's no reason to buy the MB42 anymore. It was like $20. It's still $20 cheaper. It's out there and $20 cheaper. But the new one for $20 gives you a crossover and magnetic grills. And I kind of like the wood texture on the old other ones, but no. No. These now. Now it's these. I'm completely removing these from my list. All my lists of recommendations for home theater and everything, these are gone. Dayton should just stop selling them. Just... I may have to take these babies and take all these... See, these tweeters arrays, they're, they're just so. And if I can get an array of these there, just look how flat they'd be. They'd be so flat. Oh, I don't know. I'm getting all itchy. I'm getting all itchy thinking about it. Could be the heroin, too. I don't know. All right. Uh, look in the description for a link to the buy these. I'll have the Amazon link and the Parts Express link. You only get cheaper price on Parts Express if you spend $100 and you get free shipping. On Amazon, I'm pretty sure they'll either include shipping for a smaller amount, or you, you might even get free shipping, but the price will be higher. Uh, brr. Brr and er. Brr-er.